great game on the menu tonight, folks, between the Northwestern Wildcats and the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Number 44 is one of the players that you're going to want to pay close attention to tonight. He works extremely hard on defense, Brad. He denies the ball. He challenges all shots, and he boxes out. He's really a coach's dream. The Cornhuskers will have quite a challenge on their hands trying to keep him in check. The Cornhuskers should be able to run away with this one, Dick Vitale. Hey, what are the keys for them doing so? The keys are pretty simple, Brad. First, get the ball on the interior. See if you can get their big men into foul trouble. Secondly, make good decisions with the run. Don't turn it over, baby. And finally, win the battle on the glass. That's going to be huge tonight. Well, that stat at the end could be a big one. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. They work it back to the outside. Ware handles the feed. He attempts the trifecta way off target. On the outside, Walsh receives the pass. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Number 20 handles the pass. Try to go inside. And they do. They got on the low block. Tries for two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Now trying to feed the low block. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Walsh is emotionally fired up. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Walden receives the ball. Ah, uh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball to the deck. Where's he going? They go into the low block. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Trying to feed the low block. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Fronts him. Gets the rejection. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. He's got to get rid of it. And he'll kick it back outside. Pump fakes. Got a nice screen. Off the rim and no good. He keeps his dribble as they reset. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Fires away. The Wildcats have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Leans in. Basket falls despite the contact. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. There's a bad pass right to the defender. He shoots from the top of the key. He drains it. Working it around the perimeter. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Northwestern are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Down inside, picks off the lazy pass. There was no doubt about that one. He 
tries a three ball. He's good for another score. Hands in his face anytime now, boys. In the paint. Controlling the ball. High post screen. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Gave it up. Goes up for two. I think does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. The ball goes out of bounds. High post flasher is open. Strips the ball. Look how speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Let's it fly. Way off target. They move it into the front court. On the outside. Jumps in. Great play to take that to the basket. up the foul. We thought this game would be a sellout, Dick, and it's not. I tell you, a lot of empty seats here. It's only half full. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Down on the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Steals a pass. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. He hammers it home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on the defensive end. Mr. Excitement with that jam. Look at these fans, they're loving it. Wow, the energy in here is electrifying. Ware comes up with it. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. And he scores despite the hack. Takes the pass in the paint. There's the trap. Gets the ball and now faces his man down on the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. He was doing a great job pressuring the ball and deciding to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part because it resulted in a foul. Brad, that's what happened when the defense is too aggressive and looking for the steal. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a close player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Looking for the foul. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribble and act here and turns it over. Perfectly executed. right of the circle. The Wildcats have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. On the inside. Pressure that basketball. 
for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Picked out of the air. On the dribble, gives it up. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good close position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block down. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. Second shot, no good. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. For two, perfectly executed. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. They work it around the perimeter. Tries a three. He buries it. Number 24 or three. The Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. There they come with a double team to stop it. It's stolen. Here they go into transition and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. And he throws it right away. Great steal. Tries for two. Northwestern have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Both teams looking to get things going here. The skip pass is picked off. Mitchell picks. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. Number 20 to the charity line. He sinks it. Timeout's called. Dick, you think the coach is trying to slow up this run a little? Absolutely. He looks calm over there on the sideline, but I bet he's steaming inside. Coming out of the timeout, I'd expect we're going to see more focused play on both sides. One would assume so. Looking for a good shot. Thinks about the shot. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. And he'll kick it back outside. Gave it up. Using his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop. Takes the ball to the goal. Strong. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Tell me to save the play of the night, Brad. Terrible execution on offense. From three-point land. The Wildcats have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back to you. All right, thanks, Aaron. 
Entry pass in the paint. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. From the top of the circle, too strong. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. They work the perimeter. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Northwestern are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. He intercepts it. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up from three-point range. He drains the bucket. They work it around the arc. Puts up the shot. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. And the ball goes out of play. Got some room. Moving it around the perimeter. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Ten seconds showing on the shot clock. Number 20, pump fakes. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step deep and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. High post screen, going to use it. Way out on top, controlling the ball. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing game, anticipating really well. He shoots from left of the circle, off the rim, and no good. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Holland steps to the line for the first time. Hits the first shot. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. Isn't it great, Brad? He's going nowhere. Going Ball nowhere. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. You gotta eliminate those turnovers. Pull-up jumper from way out. Dickey simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Gave it up. On the outside. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. 
He uses the shot fake. Tries to get the D to bite. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Goes up for two. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. The Cornhuskers have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Double team now, bad angle. For the bucket, can't get the shot to go. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Up and inside. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. They work it around the perimeter. Up fake. That was a high post screen, goes to the lane. Northwestern have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Dick, about a medium-sized crowd tonight. I'll tell you one thing, you don't get a big edge as a home team. Working it around the perimeter. He lets it go. Way off target. Puts it up, looking for contact. He was guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. Hey, defenders must be confident we're going for a steal. If not, he'll often end up with a personal foul. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Two for one opportunity. Excellent spacing, that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. This is simply a great play, Brad. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He launches a three. He nails the bucket. With time running out, misses on the jumper from three. At the end of the first half, the Cornhuskers are trailing by ten. This one's been a nail-biter so far, Dick. What play do you think set the tone in the first half, in your opinion? You have to talk about this trifecta for the highlight of the first half, Brad. After this shot, you really saw the defense have to stretch out, which opened up the inside game. Well, partner, let's get back to the game and see how this one plays out. Nebraska has been giving up the ball like it's worth nothing. Yeah, Brad, I don't know if I've ever seen a team turn it over the ball like this. They're basically telling their opponents to keep attacking them. Second half, Dick, our focus player update, and what's he got to focus on, or what do his teammates have to focus on? I think his teammates got to set him up somehow. They got to run some sets to get him free for some good shots. For the deuce. I tell you, he's got every move in a book. What an offensive player. That fadeaway is impossible to block. He better get rid of it. Intercepted. Buries it home. They scored seven in a row.
Got to take some pride on a defensive end. Steals the ball. What a great strip. For two, gets it to fall. The Wildcats have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Unloads a three. Nice shot. This is getting ugly. Hey, if you can't check your man, it's up to the coach to recognize that and make an adjustment. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Step out on that screener. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Picks off the pass. He puts up the three ball. He gets it to fall. The Wildcats lead by 17. Jumps into the defender. Perfectly executed. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. on the floor and up and under. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Gave it up. The power forward takes the pass. Here's a double team. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the top of the circle. Holland for three. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. Aaron's right about that. Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you've got to be able to establish post play because that gives you inside, outside action. There's a double team waiting there. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Nice high post screen. There's the trap. Robs him of the ball. He shoots from the top of the circle. Walden drills the three. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Ten on the shot clock. 
for the bucket. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. The Wildcats are up by 15. Entry pass in the paint. Booker draws the personal. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I tell you, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Second shot, good. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Great defensive play, anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Northwestern are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. Basket's good and the foul. That's a big play. He was there when they needed him, baby. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. The Cornhuskers are down by 20. Up and inside. He looks for the bomb. There was no doubt about that one. Picked off. He shoots from the elbow. Off the rim and no good. On the outside. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Here's another look, Dick. There they come with a double team to stop it. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. That's good. Looking for a good shot. From left of the circle. The Wildcats have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brad, he's on fire. Jumped in front to take it away. Pushes it up. Where? He hit the deuce and the foul is called. Nice job of absorbing the foul and keeping his focus. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up, and they're ready to try to help their team. You can't forget about them, the witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. Steals a pass. Working around the arc. He shoots from the top of the circle. The Wildcats have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding them the ball. It's simple. Kicks off the lazy pass. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny up the ball. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. 
Brad and Dick, the coaching staff told me before the game, this is the one guy they need to get going quickly and early. They said when he gets hot, his entire team will follow suit, and they'll feel good about having the game in hand. Thanks, Aaron. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. He draws a foul. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. Number 20 grabs it. And again, they look to run. Trying to draw the foul. Walden makes the Walden. finger roll. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover, Dick. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Takes away the pass. They work the perimeter. Gave it up. He launches the bomb. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Picked out of the air. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert. Get the number game going. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Fakes the shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. They had his shot block. Looking for a good shot. Got it. He gets the foul and the bucket. That's how you do it when you want to win, baby. What a great play. Check him out, Dick. He's taunting the crowd. Brad, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. At the free throw line. He gets it to go. Time out on the floor. We'll have a little break in the action here, partner, while both teams talk it over. We're ready to get back to the action. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. There's the block. Nice rotation over, blocking that shot. Tries for two. Up and in.
puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk, lift their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Working it around the perimeter. The three, way off target. Tries two. Very positioning there, Dick. These kids know better. We'll see if they get it right next time down. Up and inside. Goes for the deep one. That's an ill-advised shot. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside jumpers. They've got to attack inside and then out. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. He lets it fly. Makes the shot. Let's look at it again. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. They'll work it around the arc. Basic. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. <laughs> on the dribble, gives it up. Intercepted. Gave it up. On the outside. On the dribble, gives it up. Double team now, bad angle. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You have three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Replay is good up. Let's watch it again. Inside. He didn't have an angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Number 20 is called for the foul. First personal foul. Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers, missed opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. The ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover, Dick. Well, I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Now they work it around the perimeter. Barring some sort of miracle, I think this one could be over, Dick. That's all she wrote, Brad. This one is a done deal. They work the perimeter. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. Shoots from outside. The Wildcats have got to continue to get him the ball. Yeah, he's on fire. On the outside. Gave it up. On the inside. Here's a double team. 
He shoots from long range. He buries the shot. With a fadeaway jumper, look at that follow through. Can't get the shot to go. the dribble gives it up top of the circle they work it around the perimeter he puts it in with contact and all they'll work it around the arc trying to draw some contact he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Looking for a good shot. He takes a three. Goes in. Side. Working it around the perimeter. From the top of the key. You betcha. He throws it up from downtown. Drains it. But inside. Gave it up. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Puts up the tray. Off the rim and no good. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He gets that one to fall. Oh, this will land a foul. The coach not happy on the sideline. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a cap delay. The point guard gets the pass. They're working around the perimeter. Great defense. He hacked him. And he's going to pick up the foul. And oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He'll look at a pair of free throws. He misses his first shot. They're not getting it done from the free throw line tonight, Nick. It always seems like these close games, Brad, come down to free throw shooting. Let's see how this poor display affects them. He hits his second. On the dribble, gives it up. Work the perimeter. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. It's electrifying in here. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. The ball goes out of bounds. I think it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing. They're getting good shots, and they're making them count. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. Our focus player update, our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. Well, I'll tell you, nine out of ten times, if the focus player plays well, you're going to get to the winner's circle. Nebraska loses in this very well-matched game. After a loss like this, you have to question their ranking. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners, Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for